Hi everyone, this is Vlad from Splinx. In this video, we are going to review our new feature, Network Site. Many customers gave us really positive feedback about it. And in this video, I want to show you how to use it and how you can improve your operations with it. So let's check it out. What is a Network Site? Network Site, it's a point of presence. This is a feature that allows you to unify all information about the site, um, hardware connected to it, as well as customers and their services connected to those access devices. This is effective way to keep everything under one roof and effectively manage it. So let me show you step by step how to deal with it and how to add a new network site. Okay, so first of all, we should go to networking and click on network site. Here, uh, we should press the add button and in the site menu, we just need to fill in all the fields or we can skip it and uh, fill all important information directly uh, in the network site view. Let's do it here. We'll add new tower. Some description, we add location, new address, I'll paste the address here. Okay, save. Okay, so the address is added. Also, we are able to add the contact details of the person, for instance, or company who is responsible for that uh, point of presence. So uh, let's add just person as an example. Okay. Also, we can add photos and documents, but we'll do it in the next step. Okay, let's press save. And we can see that the site was added. Let's access it. Here you will see the tour that will help you to navigate through this feature. Uh, the network site was added and um, we can see our tower here. Also, we can add photos and documents to the network site to make it even more informative to your team and store all details under one roof. So we can just press add photos, select images and press upload. As you can see, images were uploaded and also we can do the same for documents. Just select, for instance, the rental contract and upload it here. Uh, once done, don't forget to press the save button. Okay, next we are going to review the hardware tab. There you can link or add your existing hardware to the network site. As far as you are already using Splinks, you can simply link your hardware. So when you press this button, you will be able to select uh, your router or other equipment that you added uh, already. So let's check it. Okay, so we added some test server and we can easily linking. So all equipment connected to this tower will be linked under one a roof and you will be able to manage it. So then we can also add customers and their services. So as you can see, to add multiple customers to the network site, please go to customers list. So we can, can go here and uh, select several customers, for instance, and uh, link them to this network site. So we can just select them, press actions and link, link to access device. Yeah, as you can see, our new tower is already selected here. So we can just uh, link uh, these customers to access device. Also, uh, there might be a cases where you have several access devices under one tower. So you'll be able to select multiple devices here. Let's link them. Yeah, as you can see, all these customers were successfully added to your network site. And the last option, but not the least one, uh, it's a map. A uh, map gives us a possibility to oversee our network site, um, services, hardware, and access devices on the map. This is initial integration of this feature, and we will tweak it in the upcoming releases with advanced network coverage and uh, network topology. As of now, we are able just to select in the filter 
uh, options that we want to see on the map, like hardware, services, access devices, and linking. And uh, also, we can check it based on uh, per location and partners. So we can simply press apply. And we instantly see the network site, uh, our access device. We can directly access the network device from the map. And also our customer. When we press on the customer, we see the Nelson Jackson. We can uh, lead to the customer profile and directly manage the service. Another important thing is a communication with customers. Splings gives you a possibility to send uh, mass messages to those people who are connected to your network site. For instance, we can go to mass sending, create uh, a mass message, and then in the filters we have two options like network site and access device. So we are able to filter customers by network site or even the access device. So people who are connected to your site or to some router will be notified. Uh, this is effective way of communication in terms of outage or in terms of some maintenance. So only those customers who are affected will receive the message and it will ensure smooth communication with your customers that leads to further satisfaction. So it's pretty much it. Once again, this is initial version of this integration and we will be tweaking it based on your feedback. So make sure to try it yourself and share your experience with us. Till the next video. Thanks.